In this review, I will be taking a look at the Ninja Turtles, The Next Mutation, Street Cycles. There are two Street Cycles in the Next Mutation toy line, one from the good guys and one from the bad guys. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as click on the notification bell. First up is a look at the Bad Guys Cycle as it is known as the Mega Motorin Elite Guard with Street Cycle. Here is a look at the Elite Guard riding the cycle. With the Elite Guard off, we can take a better look at the bike itself. The design and sculpting of the bike is very well done in my opinion. It looks more like a racing bike or crotch rocket if you will. The colors on the bike are mostly made up of red, purple, and silver. Looking at the rear tire, we come across the first action feature of the bike, and that of the rear hubcap extendo blades. The bike is now in attack mode, and by pulling them out, they are able to spin and take out anything that comes too close to the bike. To exit attack mode, just push the hubcaps back in. The bike has lots of angular sharp edges. On the bottom of the bike, there is a fold down kickstand to keep the bike in place when not playing or moving. Speaking of playing or moving, the cycle is functional as both tires do rotate. Here is a top down view of the cycle. Moving around to the front, there is a shield that is concealing the next action play feature. Lifting the shield up reveals the surprise powered missile launcher. To fire the missile, you just press the button on the top of the gas tank. The firing mechanism is very nice, and the missile is shot out with some good force. Taking a quick look at the missile itself, it is molded in the same red that is found on the bike. To pop the missile back in, just line the grooves of the missiles with that of the spring-loaded holster. Push till it snaps in place. Rinse and repeat. Now let's take a look at the Elite Guard figure. The guard is wearing a motorcycle helmet. It is non-removable. Three colors make up the Elite Guard wardrobe, black being the primary, with red and purple also. There is red going down the arms and legs, and the front of the boots. There is a light purple belt and slash going across the torso and around the waist, as well as the top of the boots. There are pipe holes on the bottom of the feet. Here's a look at the back side, which is almost an exact copy of the front. Going over the articulation on the figure, there is surprisingly a decent amount for a 90s figure. The head is able to swivel left and right. The arms are able to move forward this far and back this far. They can't do a full 360 degrees due to the arms hitting the shoulder pads. There is a bicep swivel. There is a single joint at the elbow which can be bent almost 90 degrees. The forearms can also rotate. There is nothing in the torso or waist. The legs can kick this far forward. They can't kick backwards this far. There is a single joint at the knees which can bend this much. There is also a boot swivel. With the extra amount of articulation, getting the elite guard to ride the cycle is really no problem at all. One thing to note is the guard does not fully sit on the seat when riding. Next up is the Bad Boy Biker Raph with Street Cycle. Here is a look at Raph riding the cycle. Taking a closer look at the cycle by itself, you can notice there is a lot of detail and sculpt work going on. The engine is really nicely sculpted. The colors on the bike are mostly olive green and silver, with some black and light brown for the seat. Just as with the other cycle, the wheels can actually spin. There's treads sculpted on the tires and bolts on the rims. This cycle has a fold down kickstand as well. Here's the top down view of the cycle. And here's a front view with the headlight. There are cables that run along the side of the cycle and can be popped out but can easily be popped back in. Well, by doing that, I just activated the pop-up engine that holds the spring-loaded powered missile launcher. The engine can be easily pushed back down though. 
The trigger is located on the top of it. To fire, you just have to push the button forward. Taking a closer look at the missile, it is just molded in the same olive green color as the cycle. To put it back in, just line it up like the other cycle until it clicks into place. One last feature of the cycle are the side slicing katana blades. They can be pulled out from the bottom of the sides. The blades are quite long, so nothing is going to come up alongside the cycle. They are molded in the same olive green color. Let's now take a closer look at the included Raft figure. He is wearing a motorcycle helmet, but unlike the Elite Guard, this one does not cover Raft's face. He is wearing his signature red bandana. He also has on his red elbow pads, along with black biker gloves and a black biker vest. He is also wearing his belt with the letter R. The skin tone on Raft is a vibrant green. Moving down to his lower half, he is on his red knee pads as well as black and red motorcycle boots. You can see the outline of his two toes through the boots. There are peg holes on the bottoms of the feet. Turning around to the back, they did a really good job sculpting the leather vest stretching over the shell. There is also a silver stripe towards the bottom of the vest. Looking at the articulation, the head is able to swivel left and right. The arms can kick outwards a little. They are able to rotate 360 degrees. There is forearm rotation. There is nothing in the torso, which is to be expected for a Ninja Turtle figure. Surprisingly, there is not as much articulation on Raph as was with the Elite Guard. The only articulation in the legs, a rotation at the ball joint. They are able to kick forward, but at an angle and they can't kick backwards. Putting Raph on the bike is still fairly easy to do. The cables on the sides do get in the way, but you just have to feed the legs through. Once he is sitting down, place the hands on the handlebars, and you're good to go. For a little quick comparison, if you're not familiar with the Next Mutation toy line, here's how they look next to the original line of Ninja Turtle figures. Here's Raph alongside the original Raph, and the Elite Guard next to the original Foot Soldier. So that is my review of the Ninja Turtle Next Mutation Street Cycles. Overall, I think these are really nice figures. There are good sculpting and paintwork on each of them. Both cycles have cool action features for different posing or playing options. If you're a fan of the Next Mutation show, I recommend that you add these to your collection. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well as click on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and leave me a comment. Follow me on social media, links are also in the description below, and thanks for watching.